Hello, welcome C. Elegans enthusiasts. Uh, this is Chris Grove here. Um, just wanted to run you through some of the basics of the Virtual Worm project. Um, particularly in this, in this tutorial, I wanted to guide uh, users through the process of downloading the Virtual Worm Blender file and, uh, and, and getting started with the basic manipulations and um, controls in Blender. So uh, the first thing I just want to point out is that uh, we want to actually download Blender 2.49. So if we come over to the Blender website at www.blender.org, click on download, and then we'll have a variety of different uh, <clears throat> versions of the Blender 2.49b version of Blender to download. Uh, and you can choose the one that's most appropriate for uh, your platform. So go ahead and uh, download that, and it should be pretty straightforward to install. Uh, and go ahead and install it, and when you come back, uh, you can pause it, the uh, recording right now, or the tutorial, and then um, uh, just come back and we'll get started with the basic uh, functions and manipulations in Blender. Okay, welcome back. Um, so you should now have Blender 2.49 installed on your computer. Uh, you should open it up, and you should see something uh, pretty much like this. Uh, this is the pretty much the default uh, view and setup for Blender 2.49. Um, and uh, what I'm going to ask you to do now is we're going to adjust a few user preferences depending on what type of computer you're using. Um, so let's pull up, uh, pull down this little bar here. Let's pull our cursor up here until it turns to a hand or arrows or whatever it is on your machine. And we're, we just want to drag this down and we'll pull down our uh, user preferences window. Um, you can see it down here in the uh, window selector, which I'll get to a little later. Now, uh, the first thing that I want you to do is check if this emulate three button mouse button is selected. If you're working with a one or two button mouse, that's often, uh, it's very common for Macintosh computers or uh, for laptops, I'd like you to select emulate three button mouse because this is going to become uh, pretty much essential for, for doing some basic uh, view manipulations in uh, Blender. If you have a three button mouse, don't worry about it. Just You can unselect that uh, and leave it unselected and I'll explain um, how to use the three button mouse later on. I'm going to leave it selected because I use a uh, MacBook Pro laptop. Um, I'd also suggest that you change the smooth, smooth view value to 1000. You can do that by actually just um, clicking once inside and typing a thousand or you can click and then drag. The other thing I want to make sure that we uh, try to do if you're using a laptop or any type of keyboard that does not have a numpad built in on the right side of the, of the keyboard or anywhere for that matter, I'd like you to select emulate numpad. Um, and as the tooltip suggests, uh, it says causes the one to zero keys to act as the numpad useful for laptops. This is actually um, really useful for when we want to adjust our view per points and perspectives in the 3D view, as we'll see in a little bit. If you have a numpad, that's okay. You can just leave this unselected. But if you're working on a laptop like I am or on a smaller keyboard without a numpad, make sure you have that one uh, selected. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the user preferences that I want to specify for right now. So let's uh, just go ahead and drag that bar back up. We don't really want to have to look at all that stuff all the time. Um, and then what we want to do is go to Save Default Settings under the File menu. And this will save these settings that we just set uh, for future uses of uh, um, our sessions with Blender 2.49. You can also uh, use the shortcut key Control U. If you ever find that you've made some settings and you want to adjust it back to the factory settings, of course you can always load factory settings. And of course that's useful if you think you've made a mistake or something might be a problem. So click on Save User Settings. Um, okay and that should be good for that. Uh, what I want to uh, point out now is if we go to the Virtual Worm website, uh, which is uh, caltech.wormbase.org slash virtualworm, you can go over here to the download virtualworm.blend file, uh, click on that, and you should see an FTP site here. You want to click on Virtual Worm Blend file, and then go ahead and click and download Virtual Worm March 2011.blend. Uh, get that on your computer and locate know where you've uh, located it, and then we'll come back and we'll start working with uh, the virtual worm file.